everyone, I'm here at the Bible reading. I hope you're having a good day. Please keep the following people in prayer. Sherm, Rhonda Karshner, Cindy and Jim, Bonnie Jean, Layla and her son Emil, Dora Parker, or Dora Parker, sorry, Joyce White, Pat Wetzel and Jason Dempsey, Jimmy Myers, Abby and Liam, Danette Major, Elizabeth Jeffries and her grandson Dominic, Randy Post, Cohen Richmond, Nellie Stanley, Ray and Donna Dunlap, and the fires that are still going on in Canada, the devastation in Maui, in Hawaii, and uh, everywhere else around the world. Jimmy, our nephew, if you didn't know, um, he moved out on his own and for the first time and went to another state. He's in Tennessee now, or in Ohio, and um, he's doing good. He's already got a full-time job. He ha he's hired. He hasn't got the start yet. He'll be starting really soon, but he got full-time. He's been cooking. Tonight he made cheeseburgers. He's learning how to cook, and he made a couple other things with it, and then he was going to uh, dry up some chicken strips before they go bad, you know, so he can have them for a day or two. Okay. So that is our prayer request. Okay, now our um, Bible reading today is Proverbs, or sorry, I'm getting it mixed up because I got Proverbs on top. I couldn't fit it on the line. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 10. Psalm 55 and Proverbs chapter 23 verses 4 and 5. Okay, this is a short reading today. Paul's vision and his thorn. He says, Paul says, I must go on boasting, although there is nothing to be gained. I will go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know, but God knows, was caught up to paradise and heard inexpressible things, things that no one is permitted to tell. I will boast about a man like that, but I will not boast about myself, except about my weaknesses. Even if I should choose to boast, I would not be a fool, because I would be speaking the truth. But I refrain, so no one will think more of me than is warranted by what I do or say or because of these surpassingly great revelations. Therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. Amen. We're put through these hard times, so we'll learn certain lessons from them. Lessons, lessons that we otherwise would not learn unless we went through those experiences. Just like the people you meet in your life, some are there for a lifetime. Some are there with you for a very short time. But with each person, you learn the lesson you're supposed to learn. 
that has to do with one thing or another in that relationship. Okay. Our song today is Psalm 55 for the director of music with stringed instruments, a mascal of David. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. My thoughts trouble me and I am distraught because of what my enemy is saying because of the threats of the wicked, for they bring down suffering on me and sell me in my anger, or in their anger. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen on me. Fear and trembling have beset me. Horror has overwhelmed me. I said, oh, that I had the wings of a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee far away and stay in the desert. I would hurry to my place of shelter, far from the tempest and storm. Lord, confuse the wicked, confound their words, for I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they prowl about on its walls. Malice and abuse are within it. Destructive forces are at work in the city. Threats and lies never leave its streets. If an enemy were insulting me, I could endure it. If a foe were rising against me, I could hide. But it is you a man like myself, my companion, my close friend, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship at the house of God. As we walked about among the worshipers, let death take my enemies by surprise. Let them go down alive to the realm of the dead, for evil finds lodging among them. As for me, I call to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and He hears my voice. He rescues me unharmed from the battle waged against me. Even though many oppose me, God, who is enthroned from of old, who does not change, he will hear them and humble them because they have no fear of God. My companion attacks his friends. He violates his covenant. His talk is smooth as butter, yet war is in his heart. His words are more soothing than oil, yet they are drawn swords. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. But you, God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of decay. The bloodthirsty and deceitful will not live out half their days. But as for me, I trust in you. Amen. And that was among the song we've had in a good while. That was Psalm 55 for the director of music with stringed instruments, a mascal of David. Do you have the Lord as your friend? Or do you have Satan as your friend? One loves you, one hates you, although Satan, though he hates you, and remember, is the prince of this world and the father of lies. His talk is smooth as butter on his lips. He's a good liar. He's the father of lies. He's good at convincing you, hey, I love you, buddy. Look at all the stuff I will give you if you just bow down and worship me. 
remember what he done to Jesus in the wilderness, don't you? How he tempted him for 40 days and 40 nights. And Jesus never gave in to him. He took Jesus up on the highest mountain and showed him all the city, the world. I'll give you all of this, the devil told him, if you would just bow down and worship me. And when Jesus said to him, Get behind me, Satan. You are to worship the Lord God, and him alone shall you serve. The devil could not tempt him. That's how we need to be. The devil will talk as smooth as butter to you. Lie so you can believe every word. I can tell he wasn't lying. He was very sincere. But the whole time, he's got malice and evil. You know, seeing war in his heart. His words are like daggers to you. He's saying one thing, but thanking another. Some people are good liars. you got to watch out. And you can usually, they say, trust your gut or listen to your heart. Have you ever noticed when you've been around something bad and you know it's bad, but somebody's trying to convince you to do it or whatever? You still you got this feeling inside of you that something's not right. You should trust that feeling. Would Jesus do this? Ask yourself, would Jesus do this if he was here? What would he do? Would he go? Would he believe this person? Or should I leave and go home now? You know, always ask yourself that. Like the thing that was so popular years ago. What would Jesus do? The WWJD bracelets and stuff? That's true. Always ask yourself before you do anything. What would Jesus do? You should really trust your heart. That's probably God speaking to you. If you think, I told this person I wasn't helping them, and then your heart aches, you know, maybe I should have helped them, and you go back and do so, or like the, I told you before, you feel a bad vibe in your heart, it's probably God talking to you. Telling you it's not safe, or you should have done this, or shouldn't do this. But some people do the opposite anyway, and it hasn't been good for them. Okay, let's end today's Bible reading with Proverbs chapter 23, verses 4 and 5 of. Saying eight of the thirty sayings of the wives. Let me turn mine off, sorry. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Do not trust your own cleverness. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone. For they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle so true. You cannot take that money with you. Use it for good while you're here. Help as many people as you can with your riches while you're here because you're not going to take it with you, but you will take your deeds with you because you'll be judged. Did I do good deeds? Did I do bad deeds? Did I know somebody needed help and I could help them, but I wasn't going to help them. I ain't spending my money on them. It's best to do good things. Because we will answer for them in the end. The good we do and the bad we do. When you go to heaven, Jesus will say, What have you done for your fellow man? For you to look down and be sad and say nothing more. I only thought of myself. 
or is Jesus going to show you all the times, like a TV screen, show you pictures and you know of every person that you helped and how much that meant for them in their life? That was our Bible reading for today, guys. I hope it touched your hearts. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.